Average temperatures have increased by 1.3 degrees centigrade, resulting in two increased trends in the frequency of the number of hot days and rising trends in the frequency of hot nights. Bad weather has taken away the road. It's washed away the hospital. The house is no longer there, but the debt remains. We have to pay back the debt. And this debt is extremely, extremely unfair. The International Monetary Fund has come to Sri Lanka and asked them to cut everything. Austerity is the prescription that the IMF gives us. The main reason being that the IMF wants the money back in three years. It's exactly for that reason they are asking us to go into all this austerity. Don't get me wrong, we need to reform. We need to reform our finances, we need to reform our state-owned enterprises. We need to reform our governments. But you cannot take your pound of flesh like this. And we must therefore say, not a single drop of blood, the debt sustainability analysis of the IMF is completely wrong. It doesn't take climate into account. It looks at what is happening in Sri Lanka, what is happening in the Maldives, what is happening in Nepal, in Bhutan. It looks at what is happening in our countries right now. But the climate is the future. It's coming. It's the rains that will come the swells that will come, the high winds and the droughts. And IMF is not taking this into account. Their debt sustainability is wrong and this is a crime. Grassland and farmland. That was thick forest. And now your emissions are sequestrated by our leaves. And you do not want to pay for our leaves. Carbon trading also happens, apparently, in Brunelix countries and in Europe. I mean, I can go on and on and on on the injustice of it all. And I really do not want to use slavery language in climate change negotiations. But this is where we are coming to. So Sri Lanka's efforts to revive the Equatorial belt. They were not aware of it. In the meantime, everyone was dining and whining, the band was playing and they were dancing. As the ship went down, they kept on dancing. There was no other option. But the band at least realized what was happening and at last played near my God to thee. I Oh, and I want to ensure, we all want to ensure that the globe doesn't end that way. We have, we have discovered the iceberg. We've seen the iceberg. Now all we have to do is to avoid that iceberg. Then you can come into New York Harbor with the band playing what a wonderful world. <laughs> so this is what we have to achieve. And this is where the climate Justice Forum is of use. This was moved at the 5th Asia-Pacific Climate Regional Meeting, meeting of the ministers, and now the resolution will be brought forward to UN. What do we seek to do? Again, going back to Titanic, there were sufficient boats, so everyone couldn't get away. Many of them went down. Now, all we are trying to do is to ensure, in this instance, there are sufficient life force for all. And this is the problem. For so those who went down were not in the first class, but who went first, like all of us. Uh, this is the first move to get everyone committed to uh, contributing 
and then like many others in the mechanism that we are trying to put forth <coughs> on the initiative and conceptualization of our president honorable rani vikram singh to make things happen on the ground in other words is enough that enough things have been said about this things and there has to be tangible progress on the ground so when we walk along we can walk far but we can walk fast but if we work together we walk together we can walk far that the idea that, that the idea behind the climate justice forum and no one is said some of the countries advanced they will call it thought that they will get their covid vaccines and get everybody in their vicinity vaccinated and they will be safe until they find a new variant was coming so the lesson that we learn until everyone is safe no one is safe that's the lesson which we want to share with the rest of the world to create that planet which is safe for all once again i must congratulate our ministry